let's talk. All right, so this is a video that is not easy to make. This is a video that I feel like I have to make and I really wanna make, but just thinking of the words to say here are not easy. But I'm gonna try my best. Uh, I wanna start off and say this video is about suicide. So if that's something that uh, is close to you and something you don't think you can deal with and like watching, I know for some people it's difficult, I just wanna give the warning now, that's what this video is about. It's talking about it. So if it's something you're not comfortable with, I understand. I just want to get that out of the way before I get started. That's what this is about. So this video is not about uh, it's not about me. It's about something that happened to some with someone else. Uh, so for those that don't know, about two years ago, I lost a close friend to suicide. Uh, I found out through Facebook, and my life hasn't been the same since. Uh, we haven't we unfortunately me and uh, Fortunately, we fell out of contact for a while. He never had a phone or anything, but finding out that uh, he took his own life really, really messed me up. Really badly. Uh, so, that's just a little backstory to this. So, this, this I, I promise this all comes together some way. Uh, so, yeah. So, I have some experience with it. Uh, you know, I've, you know, I, I deal with the other side. You know, not the side of uh, wanting to take my own life, but the side affected by someone who did. So I'm sure there's plenty of people who go through this every day and it's, it's hard, you know, it's, it's insane to think about, you know, that someone is no longer here because of their own choice. And that is something that really messes me up on a daily basis and truly hurts every day. So enough about that. Uh, the, the point of this is not for sympathy. This video is not about sympathy. It's not, oh, woe is me. Uh, know what I go through every day. No, that's not what this is about. This is about something greater than that. So, I want to tell a story. So, a friend of mine reached out to me one night. Uh, the name, of course, will be nameless. You know, there'll be no names here uh, for their own protection. But he reaches out to me. And he basically tells me about how life has been so rough, how, you know, everything, all he does is hurt people and how he thinks he's a waste of space, stuff like that, and how he thinks the world would be better off without him, you know. So I kind of just, you know, obviously someone who deals with, on a daily basis, uh, the loss from someone who probably thought the same thing. I kind of told him my side and I was like, look, you know, I want to tell you something, not for sympathy, of course, but I just want to tell you, uh, you're wrong. You know, I know you think, Hey, nobody cares, but I can guarantee you people do. And I told him about how me and the other people that knew my friend before he took his life, how, you know, we all miss him so much and how he might've not thought that we, you know, people cared about him and when he was in that dark place and how he thought the world would be better without him. I'm not sure what went through his head. I wish I knew, but... Uh, so... Sorry. <laughs> so, like I was saying, uh, so I kind of said, told, I told him about how much, like, how much people really do care and how people sometimes don't show it, but, like, how much, like, people really do care and I, I'm like I promise you people care about you I care you know I'd be upset if you left you know and it's easy when you're in that dark place to only think about the negative but I'm like I promise you that if you're not here people will cry people will be upset and two years from now people will still hurt over this no, no time does not heal these wounds you kind of just learn to live with it uh you know the pain the pain is still as sharp as it was the day that it happened for me so I kind of told him about that, you know, and it really stuck with him. You know, it was, you know, they were, they were really, uh, you know, he kind of like, it kind of opened his eyes a little bit, which I was thankful for to kind of like, you know, that people care. And, you know, he was very grateful that uh, I shared that with him and he kind of, you know, he was like, okay, cool. He's like, you know what, I feel, I feel, you know, he's like, like, wow, I didn't think of it that way. And, you know, cheered him up a little bit and, you know. That felt cool to me because uh, it made me feel like the, what I struggle with every day wasn't worthless at that point. 
you know, that I was able to use the pain I go through to kind of like help someone else uh, and deal with it. And it worked a little bit. And I was very, you know, I felt it, it made it, like I said, it made it feel like the pain was worth it. And I was very grateful for that. You know, because I wonder, like, if I didn't have this experience, would I have been able to say the right words? So, that's all, but there's more to the story, I promise, don't worry. So, I want to, so fast forward. Uh, one day, the same person, he posts on, like, Snapchat or something, I forgot what it was, uh, and just said something really, uh, you know, basically said he wasn't doing too good that night. So, I reached out. I just, I texted him, and I just said, hey, do me a favor, um, like, I know it's really hard right now, but just do me a favor and just breathe. I was like, think of all the good. You know, think about the sunrises and sunsets. Think about the moment when Harry killed Voldy. Like, I listed a bunch of positive things. I was like, I know it's really difficult right now, uh, but just do me a favor and just, like, take a deep breath and just try to focus on the good. I know how hard it is, but just, like, try your best. And they did. You know, we talked a little bit. Didn't think anything of this, right? didn't think anything of it. I just, you know, like I said, I just, I just saw that, that he was struggling. So I texted him and just like reached out a little bit. Didn't think anything of it. I just said, Hey, like, you know, like I said, just talk positive with him a little bit. He said he was going through some stuff and I was like, yeah, I get it. You know, just talked, didn't think, any, no, you know, nothing crazy. I want to fast forward again to this past weekend. I get a text from him, right? And uh, he says, Hey, how you doing? I was like, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? He says, I just wanted to you know, I just wanted to say I owe you the world's biggest thank you. And I'm pretty confused at this point. I'm like, why? What What did I do? Like, did I do something? He goes on to tell me that uh, the night I reached out, the night that I randomly texted him, you know, to de take deep breaths and think of the positive, he told me he was going to kill himself that night. He said that if no one reached out, he was going to do it. He was going to take his own life. He And the fact that I reached out calmed him down. And he didn't do it. So, this is, like I said, this is a hard video to make. And this is not a video for sympathy for myself. This is not a video to say, oh, great job. You did fantastic. I, I'm not looking for, for approval. I'm not looking for praise. I'm looking to spread the message about how a simple text reaching out to someone how just making sure someone's doing okay when they when they post something depressing just reaching out how important it is what if i didn't send that text that night what would have happened so like i said this video is meant to be an eye opener to just kind of talk about how serious and important it is to talk about this stuff because so many people don't talk about mental health issues because people just think that, oh, they'll feel better. Oh, they'll get over it. Oh, just be happy. It's not easy for some people. So it is so important to reach out to people, to make sure they're doing okay, to check in on people. It is so important because you never know when they're going to be on their la that last thread. So I know it's hard and it's not easy, but do your best. We have to do our best as people to take care of each other because we're all in this hole together like we're all we're all in this crappy earth together and there's a lot of negative but there's a lot of positive so it's our job as people to spread that positivity to kind of just do our best and to just be a positive influence on the world so i'm grateful that i was there to text that person like i said when i did it i had no idea that I was saving their life. So, I'm going to challenge you. Right now, if you're watching this video to the end, I thank you. But I'm going to ask you to reach out to someone, to a friend you haven't talked to in a while. See how they're doing. Just check in. If you see someone posting something on social media, whether it be Snapchat, Instagram, and it's something that looks kind of sad, reach out to them. Just say, hey, you okay? Or, hey, hope you're doing well. If you never need to talk, I'm here. It goes a long way. I'll tell you, there was one time I was having a really bad day. I tweeted something. Some random person I ever met before reached out to me and just said, hey, I know we don't know each other at all, but I just want to make sure you're doing okay. And I, I was. I was okay. You know, I got over it really quickly, but that message meant so much to me. Just the fact that someone I've never talked to, I've never met before, they just saw my tweet and decided to reach out to me and make sure I was doing okay. That meant so much. 
So please, look out for each other. And if you're ever having those kind of thoughts, there are numbers, there's a suicide hotline prevention, never hesitate to reach out to a friend. Never. You know, you might think you're being a burden, but I can promise you, promise you, that a friend of yours would rather hear you complain and vent to them than to have to sit at your funeral. Because I'll tell you, that pain will never go away. So please, just look out for each other. I'm sorry if this video is sappy. Uh, I hope if you're watching this still, it, it meant something to you. Like I said, this was very difficult to talk about, but uh, it's something that I just felt like I wanted to share because I feel like it's not talked about enough. And we really need to just look out for each other and just be there for each other. The world is a better place when we're there for each other, when we build each other up instead of knocking each other down. So do your best. Be positive. Catch you guys next time.